Hello, hello, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys, you guys, this is for September 2020. Please keep an open mind. This is general. We're going to be looking at what's being hidden from you, what's being shown, why you have attracted this, and your next move. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with a Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius, please keep an open mind. If you would like a personal reading, shoot me an email. That is in the description box below. If it doesn't resonate, don't make it fit, you guys. All right, what's being hidden from Sagittarius? What's being shown? Okay, what's being hidden is Aloha. Healing. What's being shown is miracles. Why you have attracted this. Clean up time. Mel Du Fairy. And your next move. Two wants to come out. Taking a break. Okay, let's see what's happening with Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius, what I'm seeing here is a lot of action, okay? Um, you're needing to take action, okay? Because you know what? You know in your heart, in your soul, um, the alchemy that you hold is persuading you, okay? A lot of you are... Are you on vacation? Have you been on vacation for too long? Is that you need to um, start working, start getting things out that need to be, you know, start cleaning up, start getting that, that cabinet, that cupboard cleaned out. Not only that, but, you know, changing up some things within your home space, okay? Getting things out that don't serve you. Um, removing sharp objects within and around your room, your house, okay? Um, okay, so we have wedding for some of you. You could definitely be going be attending a wedding the situation involves a marriage okay so i feel like okay keep an open mind let your friends help keep an open mind so you could be having some sort of wedding here um sagittarius you could be needing your friends to help as well um, ask and you will get support we have a lot of passion here a lot of attraction um, for some of you you're not realizing that you do need a vacation uh, this could definitely be anything that Maybe I feel like a surprise. Someone, someone could be surprising you, okay, into um, into a wedding or into getting married. Aloha healing, okay. Maybe it is that you're healing within this connection. There's hope and guidance here as well that you're not seeing. Um, because you know what, you're going through a huge miracle and I do feel like this person could be a friend of yours, so definitely keep an open mind. Um, I feel like when you do start cleaning up, cleaning things out of your house, cleaning out your friends, not like, you know, cleaning out, just do a inventory of the whole shebang, right? Your friends, your family members, co-workers, whomever in your life, in your house, items, people, places and things that you go. The things that you expose yourself to. 
you will find what you're looking for, okay? I also feel like there is separation here. So you could be going on separation or you could be in a separation time with your partner right now, okay? Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Um, and I only feel like it's a, it's a matter of time. For some of you, you're going to be finding out that this person has been cheating on you with someone else while they were at work or while they were saying they were working. Um, okay, let's get some, I wanna clarify this. So perhaps for some of you, you will be getting married and taking some kind of trip we have the eight of wands here which indicates movement traveling okay so you are going to be traveling we have the magician here which is uh, you know miracles balancing out what needs to be done what needs to happen okay um, Wow, we have the three of cups so what needs to be cleaned out was it your friends, a third party situation, okay? Why you have attracted this. Um, so you could have met these people through your, you could have met your soulmate. I feel like this is your soulmate too as well. And I do feel like you're separating yourself from, uh, from being stagnant, from being still, from being in a, a, a time of separation, okay? A time of stillness. Um, and the reason why is because, you know, you have a lot of fear for some of you, you have a lot of fear. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be dealing with, you know, holding a lot of fear within yourself and not wanting to release it or not wanting to, um, let anything new come in. And I feel like that is changing. Okay, so for some of you, you could be up having sleepless nights, okay, worrying, <clears throat> wondering, how is this going to work out? But it's already being worked out for you, okay? It's just going to fall in place. So we have two cards here. We have um, the Ten of Wands. So whatever was being heavily pressed on to you and I feel like you know um, perhaps your friends you know really um, inspired you to release some sort of energy it's like you 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 are releasing these energies that have you know built up around you especially with the three of cups here it's like you know and it became the tint of wands, a very heavy burden to handle. Okay, so doors are definitely being opened, okay? People are coming in your way as soon as you release these energies. Not these energies, as soon as you start cleaning up. Have you ever lost something, um, Sagittarius, in your house? Or you misplaced it, but once you start cleaning and putting everything in its right, um, whether it's rearranging, rearrange the living room your bedroom whatever it is you are you know you're cleaning but as you clean you're you're finding what it is that you need okay because there's something here that you're looking for and i do feel like once you start cleaning out the clutter within your life that passion is going to come right on in and that passion is definitely the king of coins we have Taurus Capricorn Virgo energy someone who is definitely going to take care of you someone who wants to help you work with you collaborate with you build with you step up with you okay this person is definitely going to be a big bang they're coming into your life they could be um, 
coming in and helping you get rid of old negative habits, beliefs, um, belief systems, um, you know, to spice up your life, uh -huh, so to say. Can you tell me more? I do feel like you've been waiting for this person, or this person has been waiting for you. Spirit says, no need to worry, you are the Empress, you are the one carrying um, these burdens, but you have carried them and they have led you to a higher perspective within your life. And that's why we have the Star card here, because the Star card is, um, this is you, the King of Wands. You have taken action um, to block out anything that has a negative energy or a fear-based energy or not only a fear, it's like you're facing your fears with truth and honesty. Um, even though, you know, you feel left out in the cold, even though you have to speak your truth and it might hurt some people, you're, you're waiting for something to return because there was some sort of third party situation that you called them out or you... You know, you definitely put that, put that energy in their face, you know. Um, and now you guys are definitely healing from it. Uh, we have the Knight of Swords. We have fast communication coming in with the King of Cups. They're going to express their love to you um, and their passion. And um, they want possible partnership with you, okay? And I do feel like they've already made a decision. Um, there's other people, there's other suitors as well um, that want you, Sagittarius. But what I'm saying here is that there is one person who's coming in. And I do feel like this person is really going to shake things up. We have the King of Coins, the King of Wands, and the King of Cups. So we have fire, water, and earth energy right here. Okay. Um, we have Scorpio energy and we have Aquarius energy here. What I'm seeing is a total transformation within your mental and your physical life. Let's see what element um, is with you here and guiding you and working with you okay so we have the spirit awakens i embrace my soul purpose and align all aspects of my life to its fully so you're really opening up and embracing this gift that is being given to you by the universe and you're taking that action as the king of wands to step into your profound um intuitive self here with the king of cups and the king of wands to make a strong decision you know to go down a path of healing not only is it healing but it's of truthful and honest and it's definitely a sense of movement it's no stagnant so where you were stagnant in the past okay i feel like you were stagnant somewhat in your past you're being reborn again you're leaving that in the past you're putting down the heavy burdens and you're cleaning house not only are you cleaning house but you're embracing this energy that's allowing you to step up, up a notch but I do feel like there's a significant other who's basically um, coming in and this person uh, could have helped you awaken to your higher self um, or uh, helped you align to your higher self I'm going to read this energy to you Sagittarius We are often so caught up in the physical and mental aspects of life that we neglect our spiritual and our souls. This card is a reminder. is is to remind is to remind you that the spirit aspect of self is one that endures life after life and must be acknowledged and, and nurtured on the physical plane. Perhaps you place too much in fairies on the physical body or your mind. Be awakened by spirit within you are able to become aligned to your soul's purpose and can find peace and meaning to life. Beware of allowing others to determine your spiritual path. It is a very personal journey and you must find your own. Do not allow others to, 
to force their beliefs or religions on you. Spirituality does not need to be linked to a specific religion or dogma. It is an inner knowing, a reflecting of con connect connectedness, of love and joy, of being one with the divine source. By bringing together your lower chakras and higher chakras and merging them within, this reminds me of the masculine and the feminine. You know, the masculine chakras are the first three, and you know, this is the masculine and this is the feminine chakras. I'm sorry, the masculine chakras are the root chakra. Um, the solar plexus, the sacral chakra, the heart chakra is shared, okay, then the feminine, okay, this is the star chakra up here, that's above the crown chakra, um, and the throat chakra as well, so this is integrating masculine and feminine energies to one, follow your own unique spiritual journey and become the, mag the magician or the men magnificent being you are meant to be so allow this energy to unfold naturally embrace it don't fight it i'm feeling a lot of these and you've been waiting for this for a long time for some of you you're getting very creative uh creative arts creative painting um i'm seeing you know, you could be collaborating with others as well as working up a masterpiece. Um, you're definitely waiting for these energies or this is waiting for something to come through. I'm not sure, Sagittarius, but this Three of Wands here is followed by... Yeah, there could be three people that, you know... But you, you want this one... And I feel like this one is definitely going to give you everything that you desire, everything that you need. Wow, that card just dropped out. Okay, so we have Ascending Masters here. I'm um, opening up doors, aligning you to your higher purpose. We have the rainbow here, signifying hope and guidance. Okay, in action, there's a letter coming to you in the mail. For some of you, you could be getting and receiving flowers in the mail. Roses. Number nine could be significant. Um, definitely, I'm seeing a lot of threes here. You guys need to look that up. Um, Google it. And threes are all about, you know, working together. It's about communicating, working things out. But number 33 is the ascended masters are protecting you guiding you and there's messages and and great gifts being presented to you at this time so embrace these energies with locks with lo locks of love is what i'm hearing locks locks is being unlocked okay what has been locked you feeling trapped not anymore you know feeling trapped by this energy of fear, things are opening up, possibilities are opening, people are coming in, people are leaving, you're cleaning house, not only are you cleaning house, but you're cleaning out people who don't need to be in your life, you're cleaning up the mess that was left from a past relationship and it's being cleansed away with the star card. It's not attached to you. You're not holding on to it. You're letting it go. And Spirit's helping you get through that, okay? So self-sabotage. So you could feel this within your body. And you need to ask yourself, how have you been sabot how how have you been sabotaged? How have you been self-sabotaged okay is it the people that you hang out with have you been lowering your standards your belief system have you lit the candle on both ends and it burnt out right in the middle 
you know, you can't have everything. You have to let things go to gain. You let go to gain. Release these energies by um, lighting a candle and holding your solar plexus even and you know asking yourself how have you neglected yourself how have you let fear in and ask it to leave see that aspect of yourself and try to negotiate with it talk to it release those energies and do this every night until you feel these energies releasing until you feel secure in your surroundings Okay, thank you so very much. Namaste, Sagittarius.